Educating, informing, serving. Fact TV, keeping government honest. You are watching a Fact TV presentation of the Town of Westminster Select Board Meeting. We call the phone call the meeting of the Westminster Select Board to order Wednesday, October 11th at 630. Any adjustments to the agenda? Seeing none, um, acceptance of minutes, September 27th, 2023. Uh, I'll move to accept the minutes as written. I'll accept, I'll second that. Motion has been made and seconded to accept the minutes of September 27th, 2023. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have another one that was signed? Uh, so or you could just sign it. Um, communications and public comments. Hi, I'm Lisa Martin. I'm from the board of the Winona Pinnacle Association. I'm head of the Conservancy and Slash Acquisitions Committee. And I wanted to bring to your attention that the, the association is in the process of applying for grants to conserve, uh, acquire and conserve 96 acres on Old Athens Road. Um, there is 12 acres um, south of the road and 84 acres north of the road. It runs right along the town line. Is that John Shadis's? Indeed. You actually don't have so? It's been we for a while. You know how long it has taken? Years. 21 years. Yeah. It has taken us 21 years. We've had four appraisals on that piece of land over the years. It went from you don't even want to know. But what happened Which to the price is? Did he keep any of it? He kept 12 acres. So he's got all the <coughs> that he lived up on? We're, we're helping him to clean up the junk. We've helped him a couple of days already. He had a 30 yard dumpster up there and we've, we've been working with him a couple of days with a backhoe and several people. And, um, that was. We had trouble with the rain, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll, we'll get out of the rain. So, um, so it abuts land that is already conserved um, to the west, which is already in the Botanical Association. Um, it will widen the corridor um, in one of the narrowest places on um, the trail system um, that runs, you know, now all the way from Grafton, as you can include the Putney Mountain Association, it goes all the way to Dummerson. It's pretty incredible. It's like 27 miles of trail. Um, so we're in the process of applying for a Vermont Housing and Conservation Board um, funding. And um, you have done this before in the past. I, uh, I read it in the town plan today. Um, um, it would be wonderful to be able to get a letter of support that we can uh, present with our application to the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. Um, I already um, sent Katrina. You already have a letter? Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> um, that is terrific. So there, may I ask two questions? Mm -hmm. um, on the um, Vermont Housing and Conservation Board application, um, they, they want to know, um, let's see, I have it right here. Um, how does the project conform to the town plan, our project? And from my point of view in reading the town plan, um, it's about um, reliable public access to um, lands. Um, it's um, to recreation. Um, and there actually will be no expansion of the trails for this land, but it is in an area where there are, it'll be sort of a jumping off point for the trails that go north and trails that go south of the pinnacle. And at some point in the 12 acre piece, we have a plan. Um, we hope to be able to build a rustic structure like we have up on the pinnacle where school groups can go and use that as a starting point and for, you know, um, studying the wetlands that are there or going to the wetlands that are on the border between you know, Neil Thompson's land in the northeast corner of the 84 acre piece. So we're hoping it will be something that the Westminster Center School can use, Studio Y in Westminster, and you know other school groups who wrapped and we will be eventually be able to have this as a sort of jumping off point. So that's very exciting. 
So am I right in saying recreation um, and public access? Um, is there anything else? I mean, that's the town plan from 2015. And I know you, a new one is. We're, we'll be readopting the old one. You will be? For, for now. So okay. okay. That will, yes, you can. It would be, I thought that you could just go with that town plan for now. Okay, so that's appropriate recreation and public access. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe something about headwaters. I mean, it's it's high land. Um, it mostly, a lot of that, I think, watershed flows to the East Putney Brook, but it's also, obviously, some of it's coming this way from, from the northern land. So would it be appropriate to <clears throat> say something about, um, you know, clean water, right? That's coming out of a good land, clean land. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. just looking at our, what is the land, that's in the, it's in the recreation or yeah, the conservation district. Yeah, it's in the resource conservation like, uh, district. And it's also in the Richland Protection Overlay District. It's not like a place anyone's going to put it. I don't say that. Well, that's a big concern. Yeah. I'm just going to put a junk. No, no, we're going to get rid of the junk. <laughs> we will. Eventually, we'll get rid of the junk. John Shaddis is interested in getting rid of the junk. Too. So, it's it all up there. I know, but he's got, he's had many 30 um, yard dumpsters up there already that he's built up. So it's better than it was. And it's going to get better still. So thank you for um, allowing me to uh, be at the meeting today. Do you have any questions? I don't. How long does it take to get this grant? We won't have a closing um, until December 24, probably, mm -hmm. because we have the raise. We'll get money, we'll, we'll get a good hunk, we hope, from Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. This is our 13th project with them. Um, and the Vermont Land Trust will hold the easement on the land, um, because most of the other land is on the easements are held with Vermont. Land trust, but also with Vermont Fish and Wildlife, um, one. So um, it just it's an it's a lot of bureaucratic kind of. So if, if this goes into is hunting allowed on? Oh yeah, okay. on all pinnacle land, yeah. Yeah. except for the Martin Sanctuary, um, which is on um, Bemis Hill Road, right. and that came to us with those preconditions. Um, it's just it's not a very large piece, but. Well, um, people do hunt there, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we have recent, the most recent um, conservation that we have done is in the towns of Athens, Brookline, and Town um, Townsend. 615 acres on the next ridge over. It's actually the land that we look at from yeah. the pinnacle. Yeah. It's in the pinnacle yeah. of the It's really beautiful. Everyone, anybody ever wants to go up there, I'm happy to take you. There's a 15 acre pond up there, um, of which only half is protected. <coughs> so, um, any other questions? No, I don't think so. Thank you so much. No, I don't have a question, but being, oh. being this is under communication and public comments, we can't make it's not an action right. item. Right. Uh, um. do, do we even need a motion? <laughs> It's not an action. But it's right. it's not an no, but we could. It, we did make the agenda, but we could take. We could just add it to the agenda for the next meeting. Yeah. To and just make a motion to officially make a motion to sign. Uh, to sign. If that's so, well, um, to sign a letter, you mean? Yes. Okay. Um, wait. We're you, gonna, we're we, going to need the letter. Um, it's due before your next meeting. Okay. So the next meeting is November. Uh, no, our our next meeting. October. Oh no, you have you two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. We have yeah. it's the twenty fifth. Um, that'll be okay if I can okay. get it that night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just show up here and Absolutely. do it while we'll I'm on yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry, it's a, cool. No, sorry, that's okay. Saying, it's it's due it's due the next week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we'll sign it the very same. Day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you need anything else for me? If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Uh, yes. 742 Green Road. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye. Thank you all. <laughs>
All right. Um, any other communications from public on it? Um, moving on to new business, <coughs> fine banks road damage. I might as well speak on that. All right. So, as you guys probably know by now, the dam, it's, it's really on Orchard Hill, Beaver Pond, let go, and it came down Fulham Brook. And that big deep culvert where Fulham Brook goes under Pine Banks Road, right by Fernwood, you know where that is, just before Camp Road. It uh, washed around the culvert, caused the bottom of the culvert to implode because of it took all the dirt around it, caused it to drop, and when it did, it blew the bottom of that culvert right up out, which the culvert wasn't great anyway. Um, so now, of course, we sent the letter, you guys signed it to the state. We're waiting to hear back from them on funding. Um, Mark Pickering seemed confident. He said that um, they were waiting also for a hydraulic study, but he was leaning towards a bridge to go back there. He felt like it would be less expensive. Anyway. In preparation, does that mean it gets closed for a while? Oh, absolutely. I don't care what you do there. <laughs> Whatever you do there, the road's going to be closed. It's the culvert's, you know, close to 40 feet down to the, to the bottom. I stopped it's yesterday when I was like, it's, it's pretty it's deep. It's deeper. Yeah. It's, Pretty deep when you stand at the bottom. Um, so at the bottom, well, you were there. So at the bottom, Mark wants us to take and put four foot minus, like too high, <coughs> more or high, like 20 feet on each side of the wall. And then go two foot minus above that, four foot deep, up. Like right feet. now? Yeah. yeah, as a temporary fix yeah. for now so that if we get a major rain that comes down and impedes on that, it won't wash the road out. It will um, work under and through that screwed up culvert. We took the little bit of ledge we had and stuff. We did a temporary fix, as you saw, enough to open the road back up and um, make it safe, but it's certainly not great. Yeah. We don't have any big enough to mess around with four foot minus rock, our excavator would stack two four foot rocks on top of each other. Um, so we got to decide how we're going to handle it. Whether we try to put it out to bid, whether we try to get, you know, or, you know, rent a machine, whether we try to get contractors. Oh, this we, is on us. Yes. We, we it's on us. Yep. We have, of course, we have money um, in our emergency fund for such events. Um, so, what's your, when you say rent or put it out to bid? Yeah. Is it my my gut is if you put it out to bid, you're not going to get it done. Probably not. So, can you rent a piece of equipment to do it? You guys take the whole time? We're, so we're, 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 we're capable, of it, but we're also we're trying to get all the roads graded, get things done before winter. And the other issue is four foot rock. It's finding anybody that will haul four foot rock. Right. Right. Darren and I, you know, this was a while now, but Darren and Irene, four foot rock was, I'll haul like two foot, but four foot's big. That's a big rock. Like, well, that's right. You want to, you want to, that's like four or five rocks in the back of your dump yeah. truck. Exactly. You destroy your truck. I would, so yeah, even if we could do I would, I would call over there and see if I can get rock delivered. I wouldn't, yeah. We wouldn't even try to haul it. Yeah. That was my my thing. But same with two foot. Well, and, and during the road foreman's report, I was going to tell you that uh, truck number three is down. It's been down now for a couple of weeks, waiting for a radiator. It's under warranty. But there's there wasn't one in the country. There is now, and we're supposed to see it by the 25th. But, so that's a thing. You know, we're going to start putting plow frames on next week and um, getting ready. One of these days it's going to get cold and we're going to have a little rainstorm. We're going to have ice. We're going to have to be ready for it. So, um, In the past, what they might have done was call around a few contractors to see if anybody was even willing to do it. 
because it's late in the year, everybody's trying to same boat. Everybody's got work and they're trying to get it done before before winter. You know, contractors are so we have to do this. Well, well, and we well, have a hazard mitigation plan today. I think that's his recommendation based on what you saw there. Right. That was and you told yeah to help prevent because this isn't going to happen. No, no, it's going to happen. No, yeah. no, it's going to last the winter. This is going to be next right. year before anything happens to this bowl. So, right. okay. so this, was, this was the state's right. engineer was, telling yeah. Ben, myself, and Allie that this is what we needed to do. That, that called me. But he, we don't need to mess. We could just tell him that. We can't do it. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, do yeah, it. Sure, you can. Do it. When, but here's the deal. Oh, if we don't do it, it's a mess. If yeah. we get a major storm and it blows the road out, potentially. And it's worth Pot it's potentially, if. That's why I said if. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know where that would go. Yeah. After they told you to do it, you decided not to. Which I don't, I'm not. No, I'm so not I was just saying, how much do we have to do it? I mean, that was like, are they making us do it? This is my theory, or my thought. If Mark are we stupid not to do it? If Mark is going to bat for us to a degree for funding, he suggests that I think we should follow his suggestion yeah. and I agree. make a reasonable attempt to secure what's there, and which would also, let's say we decide no, we, we're not going to blows the road out. Everybody on that road now got to go to Putney, and now they're coming back. Well, you guys, you know what I mean? Like it would avoid told. Yeah, it would avoid to do this by an engineer. I'm not an engineer. It would I'm avoid all that. Um, no, I can't figure out how to get it. Yeah, so, and so we've got the money this? to do it. Like, I mean, it's not like, um, and I and I, I believe that no matter what we do for a fix, the material we put there now will be able to be reused in the future. Yeah, I think so. so. It's not going to be a waste. <coughs> so, so this is something we need to do. So um, now, yeah. so what are your options for doing? What's your best? My, best guess my gut is uh, we're going to have to do some scrambling and call, call around, you know. Does Jason Perry have time to do it? Does Mason Brothers have time to do it? Does Frank Carlo have time to do it? Yeah. Somebody with a big machine can say, all those people named don't have a machine, they have to get one foot wrong. You really? know, does Paul Ferguson have time to do it? Does Anthony Savage have time to do it? You know, you, start calling everybody I know in the area that I can think of. That, that I think we could I think that bypass the bid process for this being it is an emergency. Right. And make an attempt to find somebody that can do it in a reasonable time frame. Because I mean, use your judgment that if you think this is if you think someone's taking advantage of it as far as like, you know, hey it's short notice I can well, I'll let you guys know for the final decision anyway. I'll just get yeah, an idea on what yeah. needs to be done and I'll come back to you guys for an answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if you guys got to have a special or go hold with each other, do so whatever. Is, but. is that a motion? Are we, are we no, gonna, I didn't make a motion. I'm just making a suggestion. So so when, when we come back with the, <coughs> somebody can do it, we then make a motion to accept it, to accept it and, and, and uh, bypass the big policy. Correct. Right. Okay. So as well, long as we're all in agreement, if we can. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. An emergency. You, you put eyes on it. You're in the business. No, no. <laughs> that culvert is pretty bad. impressive how bad it is. Bad. Well, yeah, it looks like a, looks like the rib cage of something <laughs> up in the center. <laughs> the, you know, a rock yeah, sculpture on the bottom just blew up and it's like. And what's, what's impressive is the really water, the, the water line was about five feet below the road surface. So picture how deep that water was up against that road. It's amazing we didn't lose that road. Oh, thank you. And have that go down and, and make a mess on the interstate or Route 5. To call that a culvert right now is kind of distracting. How much water <laughs> runs through there um, on a, like today? It's it's normally like um, small brook. What's that? Is it a small brook or a no, dry, it's dry. Pretty, it's a pretty good sized brook. I'd, I'd say it's probably equivalent to the brook that runs along the side of the West Road yeah. on, on, on a normal day. Okay. Um, yes. uh, Mark had recommended probably a bridge. Yeah, I, I, I saw the right okay. answer about that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bridge. But okay. That, that beaver pond was.
Ben walked up about a mile up. Last time, I haven't been up there in years. <clears throat> Last time I was up there was on a horse, and I would say it was probably at least eight acres then. It was a big pond, and it drained it all. Where is that in relationship to like uh So if you go up to John Guaki's at the end of Orchard Hill and you walk oh, it's out. you keep going straight down that road, the it's the end of the beaver pond actually was in the road. There was back in the day there was about a foot and a half of water across the road. And then it continued to the east. Um quite quite a ways. Like I said, it was like Eight acres. It was big, um, and it all it all drained, and it was still an active beaver pond. It was still that beaver pond is not on the town forest land at all, is it? What's that? It's not not no, adjacent, no, no. adjacent to the town property. No, it's all yeah, no, no, it's all private. It's not yeah, nowhere it's further north. It's nowhere near, yeah, nowhere near the town forest. Well, well north. Of it, yeah, I say it's nowhere near the town forest, but as the crow flies, it's probably. Two miles from the town forest. Yeah. It's not good. So we don't. We're not going to make a motion on anything tonight and take action on it, other than we all agree that it would cut, yeah. be covered as an emergency. Yep. Yeah. And you'll come back to us. So I will move forward our next on meeting, trying, trying to get right. some idea. You've looked at it. You're in the business. You ought to have some idea on what that should cost to do that. So that when somebody comes back to me, you should be able to help know whether or not they're trying to take advantage, as you stated earlier. Well, you just know how. I know. I just so know much, how so it goes sometimes when you get late in the year and somebody wants something tomorrow. But you know, to be able to fit it in, it costs a little more. But at, the, but at the end of the day, right? We're going to have to gonna decide get. whether or not you know what. Is it, what it is, you're going to have to suck it up and get it done. Or, so I would say the only thing here is that. Say someone comes up on someone next day or two, you say, you know, I got an opening next week, then we'll have to have a special meeting. Get, you know, right, we'll yeah, no, I'll get all of you guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it right now. Yeah. This is important. If we close that road for a period of time, just leaving outside the box, obviously it's not a desirable thing to do, but then then the access would be out out through Putney. Yes. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would be some pretty ugly residents, I think. Eventually, that's going to have to happen for the repair. For, for the repair, repair. For the real repair. repair. Yeah, but and, and it's, it, but if we were to not repair it, and going going into winter, I would I would not want to have to drive all the way down to Putney to right. back. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. No, <laughs> we'd have yeah, yeah, we'd have to come all the way into from South Pine Banks. Mm -hmm. All the way through their stretch of road, then to ours, and then plow and all the ones around it. So yeah, that would be a challenge at best. It just does seem like a pretty big chunk of change to get it repaired. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. So you have some money in the emergency fund? We do. <coughs> I think she said 150. Yeah. All right, emergency contingency fund, and then I. There might even be a little extra fee in my mind. Oh, this isn't good. Because I think uh, there was is it not right. that. This right. is but yeah. But well, anyway. 15, 20 grand. Where do you get say 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah. Where do you get for it? Well, oh, that's it. You got to call ahead and pull through and have them sort it out. Right? Yeah. Sort it out. Yeah. When they when they blast or crush yeah. whatever they end up with, they. So that's another thing. So if we're going to go through with this, then I've got to call them and say, hey, start sorting out four foot rock because somebody's coming to get it. Okay. And so, it doesn't matter who it is, they're, that's where they're going. <coughs> so, worst case scenario, nobody, we can't find anybody to do it. We have to rent something. We're going to have to figure it out. Yeah. Right. Not much of a choice. Like I said, if it did, if something happened, if we didn't do it, I could call Mark and ask him, hey, Mark, if we don't do what you asked us to do, what, what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, we're going to get a road washed yeah. out. Awkward conversation. Yeah. Right. Well, and, yeah. and usually it, if he, you don't do what's recommended, then it affects your funding and aid for right. the future. You, you essentially don't get any 
from anybody. Well, I think I said at the end of the day, he's really going to bat for us. Yeah. Absolutely. That, that yes. culture has been bad. That didn't happen overnight. No, it's been bad for a long time. We, so we knew when, of course. Yeah. Mark, Mark, I, I was told that the state came, they did a hydraulic study years ago. They stopped. They said, this needs a bridge. And instead of putting a bridge in, they told him to get in his car and go back to Montpelier. So if we're getting any help right now, I think we ought to just um, yeah. Yeah. not play games. Yeah. You go to that. Okay. And go to that. All right. Moving on to ARPA proposals. So there are three. I don't have a preference. Um, I think the town seal is the easiest one. Anybody want to discuss it or we want to just. I don't, I don't have any. Of course, I was there for the opera meeting, so I don't have any. Yeah. I can. Before I make a motion, anybody have any questions on this one? Uh, I'm not trying to make a motion. No, nope, you're totally fine because <laughs> I, I don't want to make a motion myself. So. <laughs> we got a chair, you can't. So, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Stephen, did you have? No, I, I read it. It's good. Okay. No, uh, it's make, good. I'll make a motion to approve the funding, uh, ARPA funding for a new Westminster Town seal embossing machine. Uh, not to exceed fifteen hundred dollars. I'll second that motion. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Or else, uh, any discussion? Uh, All discussion. those in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, oh, I didn't abstain, but I suppose I could. Are you abstaining? You're on the committee. Yeah, I should probably abstain. Um, yes. Yes, so much one. Okay. Um, do you want to do the defibrillator or the first house? Mm -hmm. you want to just do the defibrillator? Sure. Okay. I make a motion that to accept the ARPA funding recommendation for your defibrillator defibrillator to be installed in the Institute chip. You have a dollar now. And for the cost not to exceed fifteen hundred and seventy nine dollars. I will second that. Motion has been made and seconded to approve ARPA funding for the defibrillator to be installed at the Institute. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm in state of Milling. And the rest, Minister West, Hurst House. Uh, so if you if you look at the um, estimate that she had for repairs, there's a um, a cost for cedar shakes or slate, and that's because currently the building has both on it. So a slate underneath, and a cedar underneath the slate. Right. Um, so. I think the recommendation would be to put slate on it. But. The slate would last longer, and the cedar. Trying to find the cost of cedar. Oh, see, the cedar would be five thousand three sixty six. Yeah. The slate's actually less, and it would last longer. I would assume. Uh, possibly they will reuse what they've got for slate. About half the roof is uh, on the north side has intact slate on it, and there is some slate on the south side. So actually, it could probably about two thirds of it. I was wondering if that's why it was cheaper. Yeah, there's some cedar there too, but that's they can't reuse that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that's we older could, than the slate. <laughs> we could do a not to exceed twenty thousand, and they can come up with their own plan in the middle there. Yeah, I mean, it, it actually seems like a very modest sum for essentially good. rebuilding the building. Yeah, pretty inexpensive, actually. Yeah. Um, so by the way, like the, the logs didn't get a cent for the farm. What? The, the hemlock we got ninety-seven dollars. Oh. 
it was it was sixteen hundred feet. It's pine. I don't know if it was. I never really looked at it. I was just trying to clean it. The up. ash, the ash was dead and rotten, but the pine was good. They they pulled it. I think it was cut short. I don't know. I gotta go ask the guy why. I had to just get over there. But the hemlock made ninety seven bucks. The trucking was a flat fee, so we had tr we had hardwood on that. So it went. Where did it go? It, it went to the Rockingham Lock Yard Canopy. So and I know the guy there, so I need to go back and ask him why. Maybe, maybe why that's why. What? So maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, I've always been treated really, really well by him. Um, because the, I, mean, I don't know how the owner is, but the guy that does the. Yeah. Gary Wells. I don't know. Yeah, we didn't cut any of it. It was all done by. Yeah, it was all done. I think there was a couple ten foot. They don't like ten foot in pine. It was basically. So, but I think it was one that was twelve. So that should have. Unless it had red rod in it, I didn't right. really look. They can tell that's all red rod, it's no good. I don't know. Dude, massive. And then massive it's made pulp. This pulp is just junk. So we at least we got rid of the logs for nothing. Mm. They got carted, and we only had to bring them to my house. Right. And for the trucking, was, it was 350 bucks a day. was a straight. So I would have paid that for mine. So we, I didn't have to charge you guys. I just talked off the road. I was paying 350 So there, there's a few standing. Chunks of series or what were the other? Hemlock. 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 They got paid for Hemlock. Nice. But there's still some standing chunks out there, aren't there? Yes. They got to be pretty good for me. Oh, I think they look like saw logs standing up there to me. Oh, and they're and still standing. Yeah. When do they come down? Or what's when will they? Oh, well. When they get when power company gets to them. Those will will probably cut down. I just. Ran out of time to, okay. oh. for that little project, so I just left them there because mm -hmm. the uh, place looks. I mean, with the grass growing in, it looks nice. Oh, it looks better than it did. I, I think it's good. That's fine. It's fine. But um, uh, let's go back to that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, so the other than the sad not acquiring much money for the timber that was taken out, um, the estimate seems. Very reasonable. The structural pairs, eleven thousand two forty-seven, which seems pretty good. And then you have a roof for five thousand. Uh, oh well, I guess the slate is four thousand six hundred to seven thousand one hundred. Yeah, the total between. Okay, so that's why that you get a, a span. Of 15 to, to 899 to 18369. Yeah. Um, so if we did a not to exceed 20,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only one yet what they submit in once is four hours. Right. It's 11. It's 11. It's 19. It's 19. Right. I'll make motion to approve the article funding for Westminster, uh, Westminster West First House, not to exceed uh, 20,000. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, I'm abstaining, Millie. Okay. All right. Um, any other ARPA things before we move on? Okay. Actually, ARPA is a little bit. Well, we could. Uh, so, the town hall group. Mm. Uh, Allie has not had much luck getting anybody else to come with the group and give us an estimate. And I feel like we should fix, at least fix that, fix that. And we can worry about, How about this? creating, well, because we yeah. I know that was. If that's the worst corner, I'm no roofer, but we've got a lot of rain and that doesn't seem to be growing and there's no water well, dripping on the floor. And I'm not saying right. it's not leaking. Right. But I'm saying I don't think it's this dire. Is some of these stains from? These have been here. We've been here for a long time. Been here for a really long time. We've been asked to replace the panels so that we know when we get a new one. <laughs> the guy from Brown told me he said slate roof. You need to go out there and spray. Yeah, ice well, messes with. Yeah, you do. And so what they do with a lot of people is they'll do that repair, and then they'll look around and they'll say, okay, we might have a little thing here. Then they come in the spring, and that's one thing. We should be doing it, should be on our thing, right? Absolutely, because your roof is your most important part of your building, roofing your foundation. Every spring, they come over and, and 
you know, find out from them what, what kind of that cost and have it kind of in our capital. Right, he said Maybe he was going to follow up with that. Yeah, we're how probably we, looking at spending $2,500 to $5,000 a year. If you could do that. How do you get building, yeah. to the attic of this building? To see if the insulation is all soggy and wet. Is there is there a is there a, a, a ladder or a, is, is that a trap door right there? Is there yeah. yeah. So that is a, a ladder. Of, oh, I, I, know, I love exploring. All the um, but that does look like the. There's no. There's nothing out here for a, another staircase going up or anything. Oh, there's anything beyond the stage or not? Oh, oh yeah, the stage. Never the stage so I that know. is a tall ladder. Um, yeah. Well. I mean, that was, it was just, I didn't want us to fall off the radar. No. And no, we need to get done. Think we should, Winter's coming. We need to get these guys something. over here. Why don't we just do what we just did, approve uh, Brown not to exceed $2,000. If they right. find something else while they're up there, and they can, look at they can else check it out. If they don't spend it, they don't spend it. But at least it gets someone up there, eyes yeah, on it. That's, and, a, that's, a, that's a reasonable yeah. small yeah. amount. And yeah. I, I, obviously, there's more to be found to, sure. to right. maintain broken pieces elsewhere yeah. um ultimately but we we can uh keep working that um it would be, gets nice, all rolling, I guess. It would be nice to have a sort of yes. a, a reasonable bit of just maintaining our we might do that that's as they brown, do. brown said they would do that brown's brown's what he told me so. yeah and it's written right here on our estimate what did it say um, it said that installers will do a full roof inspection while they're on site doing repairs and we'll follow up call to discuss regular spring maintenance schedule perfect that sounds like just what we want as opposed to jankowitz which was great hunk forty six thousand. yeah uh, um and uh <laughs> But what we want <laughs> is a ongoing relationship with somebody who can do the ordinary. I met the staff cat. I know they have a good job. It's nice. Well, it's just, as you said, important to, to, to regularly look at it. Yeah. Um, often we, we expect to do maintenance, and then we, we think we spend a whole lot of money. We're again, that's never true. Not to see two thousand dollars. What was, what was the bid for? Um, 13. Oh. Yeah, 1325. It's 13, not, this is okay. the summer. 1320, so 2000. A little bit of it. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I'll second that. Motion has been made and seconded. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do you need this, Millie? This is, this is an estimate. I don't think I Thank you. Um, in the town hall, it's like, I don't, yeah, yeah. No, I have, I do have something. Um, so tomorrow I'll find out. I've got a, um, I mentioned that I just got against contact, so I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. What's wrong with town hall? Oh, sorry. Oh, well, it's not. There's something wrong foundation wise that the safe is actually, not actually the whole safe. It's cracking, something settling. Settling. Right? Yeah. It's not good. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> right into the cell. Good fight. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we can table that. Yeah. Yeah. I can table it. I'll, yeah. I'll get this guy's number. Yeah. 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 All right. Take it my long here. Yep. Errors and omissions. That's this is the stainless thing. Uh, yep. Kevin's usually good at these, but. Uh, I make the motion to approve the errors and omissions uh, 4261 dated 10 4 parcel 003094.160. Uh, Keen Shady Clients Trailer Mark Trailer Park, current grand list value $5,900, and the reason this unlanded mobile home was removed in July of 22. So this does, does this change it from grand list value of $5,900 to zero? Well, we need a second and then we can. Okay, so second, yeah. 
I believe unlanded means it doesn't exist there anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if the mobile home's gone and there's no land, it would seem like it's going from 5,900 to zero. Yeah, I believe so. And that, I guess, makes sense. It's no mobile home land, no land. Yeah. Yeah, I think that must be it. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? I don't think so. Other than it would be nice if they wrote, if Rachel wrote on what that. What the change? If the change is. went from 1500 to zero yeah. or, or if there's whatever. Yeah. yeah. But that's not. So 1500 is current. And then we'll list that. Implication is zero, I guess. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. I, do you have one of these now? I do. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, town manager's report. Oh, yeah, I said she didn't have anything. Okay. Allie said so. Oh. Uh, road foreman's report. Kind of got one already. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, so we're working right now on the uh, Thunder Roads grant between, it's on the West Road. We've got a grant for the entire West Road because it's hydrologically connected. So uh, that means we're removing berms. Uh, Reshaping the road, getting the solar water drains positive, positively, and not um, um, having cutouts and like that. They want to eliminate all that and get water bit of it as fast as you can, so it's not creating any momentum and lessens erosion and gravel in the books and all that kind of thing. So, so uh, just to clear that, uh, so Westminster West Road from Saxon River all the way to Putney, or the West Road. West road. Oh, 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 sorry, the west, the west road, the, the west road, road up by the west of the west road, road in Westminster. Right? Okay, so, uh, and um, so from crossroad, crossroad, right now we're working from crossroad up to uh, Bluski's Camp Road. Mm -hmm. Um, that little section is always bad right there. Um, the water never gets off toward the brook like it should, it runs down the road the whole length of the road, then goes out when it gets toward crossroad. So um, we're establishing ditches up through there, cutting the shoulders off. We'll be planting grass seed, doing some stone work. Um, we'll, we'll be finishing up there this week on that road, and then we'll revisit it. This is an ongoing project that won't be done until next summer. Um, we've got an extension because of all the storms in Vermont. They don't expect anybody to get done. We originally said that we weren't going to do it because in the spring we had so much to do because of the snowstorm in March, uh, trying to clean up all the trees and stuff like that. They wanted this originally done by April. Well, like, there's no way. Yeah. Not going to happen. But the state decided that now it don't have to be done until next year. So we decided we'd take it on and get it done. So you're going to go from there next year about all the way down to We're going to do the whole road, yeah. Down to Putney or? To the Putney line, <coughs> yeah. Does it involve, I mean, you're, so you're, essentially so you're, there is existing ditches, but they're filled up. They're be, yeah, you'll be up. cleaning all them out. You'll be adding stone to them where it needs it. You'll be um, putting grass down. It's, it's Act 64. It's the Clean Water Act. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. What happens to you get, you get these places where there's a little burn and it drops off. So they do cutouts and all the water it hits just those cutouts. That's yep. that terrible erosion on my property from that. And then they took the berm off. And now the water sheds equally everywhere, pretty right. much. And you don't have any issues. It just And the berm is essentially the, the pile of dirt left as you know, nearby. The stone everything. wall or whatever was there. And so the road's kind of below. And there's That's a little berm and then it drops off. So it can't. They make the cutouts through the berm. If you can get rid of the whole berm, the water evenly Sorry, goes off. It the makes berm, a huge difference. Is the berm that, the, the, essentially that uh, sand and, and gravel That's right. created by yeah, so grading and erosion, et cetera? Mostly, mostly created by snow or snow, snow, snow plowing. Really, that, That's that, what that, most of it yes, comes from. Yeah. Happens on driveways, too. Uh, it happens on People go, why are you making driveways? The Terry Road, too. Yeah. Um, and um, does this involve any stone wall or, or tree line removal? Uh, in places. In places, if you get a tree that's in the edge of the road that needs to come out. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate 
the, the state actually the state actually wants us to have a six foot clear zone from the edge of the road back they would like to see us cut every tree six feet to the end of the road obviously we're not going to do that yeah um but, do, do in, in your in your imagining the scope of, of the project or as you're planning the project um are we going to get um feedback have you already received any feedback from, uh, only from residents? So far. What's that? Positive so far. Positive, positive, positive. Um, so what, what I would imagine is as adverse feedback would be people complaining about uh, seeing tree or stone wall removal. We, right now, I don't foresee any real stone wall removal down through there so much. Mm -hmm. um, I was just trying to think of stone walls down own, through we there. Never, uh, we that, removed the stone wall, but there was really nothing left in it. You can no, tell there was right. a stone wall there. It was nothing. It was completely dilapidated, mm -hmm. mostly buried, and it was causing the burns. So that's, and then when they did the cutouts, I have six foot canyons that were never there from the cutouts. It came right down the cutouts. And now they haven't grown a bit since you took the burn off. You want to rock it. Right. You couldn't even tell. Well, I don't, there was a I don't foresee any, and normally we don't cut any trees that are, are ancient maples or anything like that, unless they're dead and they're going to fall on the road anyway. Uh, most anything is small, you know, if it's right in the ditch line or something like that. And a tree that big is going to turn into a tree that big, and your problem is just going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. It's better to eliminate it before it turns into something more than it is in my it's my opinion but and, and then another just just trying to uh, manage um public concerns yep um uh there this project will it be perceived at all as something in advance of paving the road you know how that would be regarded. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it doesn't, doesn't, and, 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 and if anybody who's working on this project who's asked, is this in preparatory to paving, would be able to, to comfortably say, no, 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 that's not what we're doing. No, they don't, yeah, no. Yeah. They know exactly what that's going That's on. important to, to, to keep that clear so we don't steal unnecessary corners. That's right. Um, that's too much. Um, and, Frankly, from my point of view, um, having grown up in West to West, um, when I was growing up on the on that flat stretch of the um, highway of the paved road south of the village, uh, um, from Mary Mitchell's down through right. through, through, through the low area, um, that was lot lined with lovely stone wall and large maple trees, right. uh, planted by the Grange in the 1890s, and of course the salt from the road and all killed the right. trees and all. And then the town, of course, as a of widening the road, took that all away. But the general transition from a beautifully shaded road to a uh, water where it is now, sure. it was, it was basically, it was a lot prettier back then. Oh, I don't, I don't yeah. disagree. And, uh, right. But, you know, the trees do die. But, it, and it, but salt, there's a number of them. Um, Progress, right? Yeah. Yeah, so 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 to a certain extent there there is a a background to to uh, um, concern about stone walls and trees. Um, so this is all state mandated stuff that we're doing. That yeah. Um, because we signed the uh, municipal roads general permit, mm -hmm. and we adopted the best management. I say we, you guys. Mm -hmm. The best management practices mm -hmm. we agreed that we would do this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. which i don't know what would happen if you decided against it or i think if you get somebody um, complains tell them to go to the state representative that's where the you can send, you can send them down and see david mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right anyway okay but anyway that's the like, that's the report yeah. yeah so is this project where the fill is being generated from at uh like the bottom of Yes, that's right. By by yeah. uh, So I came down that hill today, and uh, what's it? The wall was completely sideways in the road, blocked both lanes. 
I think there should be, if we're going to dump there, I don't have any problem dumping there. Mm -hmm. There should be a sign or some cones. There's, 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 there's no way in the patch, what are you talking about? No, yeah. not that I saw. Unless I, unless I missed them, but uh, I don't. Should have, had, should have had board board head signs up. I didn't see any. Just, yeah. Yes, if people can, people come down off the back. Yeah. Well, I, I just don't want to see, yeah. No, no. And the, the biggest reason we're dumping there is because that road dropped. There's no shoulder. Oh, no, I don't have a problem dumping there. No, no, I just, just playing. Somebody should um, just. Absolutely. Something. And I will. <laughs> yeah. I will right. make a point of saying something. No noise. Um, on that note, Zach passed his uh, CDL test. He's got a um, Class B CDL. Um, I'm sorry, he's got a class A CDL with no, he can't tow a trailer or anything. Next year, he'll go back for his penalty, but I'd like to get him used to driving first without a trailer. Um, he's taking the uh, next week, he's going for the uh, chainsaw safety, the game of logging that everybody else has had, so he'll be up to speed on that. Um, fall grading, reef blowing, and uh, and as well as mom, we're still be mom. That's all going on. Next week, we'll start putting plow frames on some of the trucks that we're not using. Uh, now that we're done hauling stuff, uh, a couple of these retired guys won't be around much. Um, that's about it. I mean, we discussed everything else. Thanks, thanks for the effort on that. And we, oh, I did get our propane tanks. Yeah, and they're supposed to be here Friday to hook the one up to the town garage, purge it, hook up the regulator, and then Lucas will come and fire the furnace and make sure that works. Yes. And we're all set on gasoline. And we're just yep. buying gasoline uh, yep. by the tank pool. Yep. yep, that's what we're doing now. As long as it's okay, <laughs> delivering it by the tank pool as opposed to a contract for the year or something. Right. Right. But they Which, essentially they've got the contract because it's somebody else bring it. Two hundred gallons at a time normally, so it's not. Yeah. There's not too many places that have gas, and I'm finding out. Yeah. Two that I know, and I've called. I've even called private farmers and everybody else that has gas at their place. And they're like, "Hey, where do you get gas?" And they all, most of them, get from and then not. No, it's uh, oh, Swan. Swansea oil. So, all so right. Any other questions for Chuck? All right. I make a motion to approve the town uh, road performance report. What are we doing that? We're approving it. Can we do that? I'll second that. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the road performance report. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Um, I don't know of any reason to have any executive session. We don't have any managers. News that's changed. Waiting. Oh, oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Boards, committees, and commissions? I was not on. Uh, able to attend the planning commission uh, yeah. on Monday. I haven't. Uh, or they, no, it's going to be next Monday. Oh, they did do this I, I got an email from Barry this afternoon, sorry. Uh, an, an agenda for, hold on, let me know why. October 23rd? No, Monday, October 16th. Yeah. So there'll be a meeting update on the town plan things on Monday. I don't have anything else for boards to meet any questions. Other business? Um, the state of Vermont. As you know, approved our recommendation to reduce the speed mm -hmm. in front of base four, that little section of road there, mm -hmm. um, down to 45 miles per hour. And they are issuing a work order to VTRANS to install required signs. Um, 
and speed limit will take effect once the signs have been installed. We don't have any further action. This is just our notification that they're doing that. So they're not the speed limit. So we're, 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 we're now warned. We're now, we're now warned. <laughs> we, it's actually fate that uh, suggested it. Yeah. We're we I always thought it was too fast. For, for we yeah. support it. Yeah. We support it. Any other business? All right. Date of next meeting, Wednesday, October 25th. Oh, is this is, uh, oh, sorry, this, oh, what's yes. this thing here? Uh, because it didn't make, we just have to, it's going to be an agenda item at the next meeting for us to sign this. Okay. Um, it will be signed. It will later. be signed. Yes. Uh, all right. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to adjourn at 725. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. This meeting was recorded by Falls Area Community Television, located at One Hospital Court, Bellows Falls, Vermont. If you would like a copy of the meeting, our phone number is 802-463-1613 or email us at fact810 at gmail.com. Falls Area Community TV. Keeping government honest.